All right, Matt, joining me on the desk. First look at sports. We are kicking it off with lacrosse action. And we got the Wheatland Extreme at home hosting Vermillion. Yeah, that's right. You know, after coming off a win and a close loss on the week, and the team has almost hit their stride with three games remaining till the playoffs. Playing a pair of games this past week in the Extreme were able to come out of it with a 500 record. And in that low loss, the Wheatland Bunch got back to one of their old habits, which in the end cost them a W. Again, we had another second period low. Same thing happened on Sunday, but on Sunday we battled through it and we got the W. That's the only difference. A huge difference over the past few games has been the ability of putting the ball into the net, as the Extreme have averaged 15 goals in their last three contests. Now we're doing a lot of picks and rolls and uh, we're, uh, we're coming along, there's nothing, uh, our offense comes from our defense in transition games, so as long as we play good defense, it'll turn into good offense. So. Brandon Peterson and Braden Lukey have really carried us through the offensive roles, and Brendan Russell bearing a lot of goals in games, and um, they've just really picked it up throughout the season, and that's helped our team a lot. Now tonight, the Extreme have the daunting task of trying to slow down the Vermilion Roar, the team that's had the Extreme's number all year and entered tonight's tilt winners of six of their last eight games. Hopefully we put it in a good performance. Hopefully these guys show a little bit of pride and uh, show up that game and get a W. We need it for the playoffs. Just play better man-to-man -man defense, call out for help, and one run offense, we got to start moving and calling for the pass and looking for the open guy. With pulling up a lot of midget players, we're going to have a lot more bodies than we usually do, so that'll help with our um, endurance throughout the game. I think some of our better players can have a little break now. Um, I think it'll be a good matchup, and yeah, we should be able to win it. All right, to the Diamond Owls, the Lloydminster Twins are in for quite the week. Last night's game was the start of three games in three in a three-night stretch. So they're hosting the Wilkie Brewers, and who a little over a week ago went toe to toe with them, playing a marathon 12-inning 3-3 tie game. Let's fast forward all the way to the bottom of the six game tie. Hey, that's the cross. Oh, there's baseball right there. Game tied at one. Owen Hill will single to right field. The run comes in to make it a 2-1 game. Next at the dish, the bearded wonder, Dirk Trepto. His dribbler eats up the Brewer's second baseman. Hill comes in to score. Twins with a 3-1 lead heading into the final inning. Chris Osmack looking to close this one out, but the Brewers' bats come alive. Runner on third. He'll come in to score as the ball handcuffs the third baseman. Next batter now. He'll go up the middle. Twins looking for the 6-4-3 double play, but the throw to first is wide, cashing in another run to make it 3-3. So let's head to the bottom of the seventh. Runners on first and second. Lucas Church at the plate. And what a finish. Church coming up clutch with a walk-off hit to take this one by a score of 4-3. Twins remain perfect on the season with an 8-0-1 record. I don't know, it feels pretty good. We were kind of, I don't know, it's kind of an interesting situation because I've never played with a DH before and had me DH, and so we kind of got mixed up, but we came around and we, it worked out, so it was pretty good. It was good, it just kind of kind of lost a little bit of control there in the fourth inning, but gained her back and just didn't have enough gas to bring it out because not playing and practicing all that much, so it's, it's hard to keep it going. And tonight in the NSRBL, there are three games on the schedule, including the Twins, who are playing on back-to-back -back nights when they host the Standard Hill Lakers. First pitch for this one is, of course, at 6.30 from the Legion Ballpark. Elsewhere, the Macklin Lakers entertain North Battle for the Beavers have been heating up as they are in search for their third straight win. And finally, after starting the season with six straight losses, the St. Walberg Reds have won their last two games. will look to make it three when they travel to Mervyn to play at the last place Flyers. And quickly, five days of burning and turning as CPCA action begins tonight in Onion Lake. Jamie Labacane is coming off a victory in Wainwright last week and will look for a repeat performance. All the racing action begins at 7 o'clock.